I was born in 1991 in Kenosha, Wisconsin. I lived with my mom and sometimes grandma. I finally met my dad the day he moved us to Michigan to enroll me into the Little River Band of Ottawa Indians. We lived in Manistee. I remember my mom and dad drinking and using other things. I didn't understand why my dad would beat my mom. I only knew it hurt me because I loved them both very much. Growing up, I was bullied because I was overweight. At 10 years old, I took my first drink and I also smoked cigarettes and a little bit of pot. It made me feel better. My mom got really sick and was in and out of the hospital. Still, she took me to a rehab facility in Sault Ste. Marie. Unfortunately, my mom died on March 14, 2004. I still remember the day like it was yesterday. I felt so sad and lost. Dad couldn't handle it. He couldn't watch her die, so he took off. Afterwards, I started drinking and doing drugs. I stayed with the foster family until my dad finally came back and took me to Mount Pleasant. I was 13. I thought things would be different, but it wasn't. I started stealing dad's pills and beer and stopped going to school altogether. Dad told me, son, you need to go to school because DHS will pick you up and I will not be able to get you back. He was right. I got caught skipping school with a friend while on probation. There was an emergency hearing and I was sent to juvie. I felt hurt and unloved because no one came to visit me. I didn't matter to anyone. When I was released, I went back to the home, but my dad had moved away again. I was in eighth grade and they sent me to a non-secure lockup in Mount Pleasant, then to foster care. That's when I met Sandy Stevens from the Stigma Chippewa tribe. All I had were the things I wore, nothing else. She bought me clothes and gave me a place to stay and food to eat. At first, I would try to push Sandy away. The more I pushed her away, the more she loved me, and that's what broke me. I went into anger management and counseling. Then Sandy got me involved with the tribe, and I started making dream catchers, black ash baskets, and drums. I was sober then, and enjoyed learning our native ways. Pretty soon, I was 17 and wanted to be on my own. Unfortunately, I started drinking again, but I graduated from Mount Pleasant High School by going to adult ed. Afterwards, I moved to Manistee and got my first job working for the tribal casino. I partied with every paycheck I got. I had a lot of friends, or at least, I thought they were my friends. One night on July 7th, 2013, I insisted I wanted to go to my dad's place. I was halfway there when I passed out at the wheel and crashed my truck. The jaws of life rescued me and took me to the Ludington Hospital. Luckily, I survived and I didn't kill anyone. I only had a broken arm. There were no police to take me away. When I left there, I was homeless with a bottle of pain pills. That's when I knew I needed help. I called Dottie, who got me into a rehab for six weeks. I learned that alcohol was a disease and being Native American didn't help because it ran in my family. I also learned it is okay to ask for help. Afterwards, I went back to Manistee and found another job. I started rebuilding my life one brick at a time, and one day at a time. Unfortunately, a year into my sobriety, I got back together with my high school sweetheart. I was the only one working and making dinner and taking care of her baby. She yelled and I just left. It hurt really bad. Two years ago, 
In August of 2014, I tried to kill myself. I couldn't handle another bad relationship. I almost relapsed but didn't. I went to the Hadley Center in Ludington. They diagnosed me with ADHD and manic depression. They told me to stop, look at the situation, and really think hard and ask yourself, is it worth your life? Afterward, I found my true friend who helped me stay sober by going to AA meetings with me. I worked in surveillance at the casino. One of the times I was talking with a tribal policeman who told me, I'm proud of you, Will. You've overcome so much in your life. Keep it up. I am grateful I have changed my life. If I can break the chains of addiction, so can you. This year I plan to go to West Shore College to get a degree in business management. My life is amazing. I am happy and I stand here as a sober man telling my story so that it may help one more person live a better life. Remember, don't give up, ask for help, and be careful who you call for your friends.